premonition. When the mind perceives the future, by Eric Chamchum. The human mind continuously processes information beyond conscious awareness. At times, this process gives rise to a quiet sense of anticipation, a perception of something yet to occur, formed without deliberate reasoning. This experience is often described as a premonition. Neither prediction nor belief, it reflects how humans engage with uncertainty and possibility, and how awareness can precede conscious thought. I dedicate this video to Gene Roddenberry, the creator of the Star Trek universe. Through his vision of a future shaped by exploration, knowledge and human unity, Roddenberry imagined technologies and societies that continue to inspire scientific curiosity, ethical reflection and hope. His work, first brought to life in the 1960s, remains a lasting contribution to cultural thought and the human imagination. A premonition is commonly defined as an intuitive sense that something significant is about to happen. It arises without clear evidence, conscious reasoning or deliberate forecasting. Unlike planning or analysis, a premonition is experienced as immediate awareness, often subtle, sometimes unsettling, that appears to precede events themselves. It is not a declaration of certainty, but a perception of possibility. Various types of premonition what is described as premonition does not arise from a single source. Rather, it exists along a spectrum of anticipatory processes. These include logical anticipation, probability based on data, experience-driven intuition, bodily gut feelings, and experiences often described informally as a sixth sense. Each reflects a different way in which humans anticipate outcomes and respond to uncertainty. Everyday examples of anticipation. Logical anticipation involves conscious reasoning based on available information. For example, observing worsening conditions and expecting disruption reflects rational expectation rather than premonition. Data-based anticipation relies on probability and pattern recognition, as seen in fields such as medicine, aviation and economics. These processes forecast outcomes without certainty, but remain grounded in measurable evidence. Experience-based intuition arises when past exposure shapes rapid judgment. A parent sensing danger without obvious cause may be responding to subtle cues learned over time. Gut feelings are often bodily sensations of unease or urgency reflecting the body's role in threat detection and emotional processing. The term sixth sense is commonly used for experiences lacking identifiable cause, though it remains descriptive rather than scientific. Case studies. David Booth. In 1979, David Booth reported recurring dreams of a specific aircraft crash shortly before a real aviation disaster occurred in the United States. The case attracted attention due to the repetition and apparent detail of the dreams. While striking, interpretations remain contested. Explanations range from coincidence and selective memory to pattern recognition, highlighting the difficulty of distinguishing premonition from retrospective interpretation. Steve Jr. In 1980, a seven-year-old child reportedly insisted that his father leave a campsite near Mount St. Helens shortly before the volcano erupted. The experience was described not as a vision, but as an overwhelming sense of unease. Psychological interpretations suggest a heightened fear response or sensitivity to environmental cues, while others view the incident as an example of intuitive alarm rather than foresight. Louis Turi. Louis Turi publicly claimed to predict major world events using astrology. Unlike spontaneous premonition, these were structured forecasts presented to a wide audience. Academic critiques highlight selection bias and retrospective interpretation, placing such claims closer to prophecy or prediction systems than to experiential premonition. Premonition in religious traditions. Premonition in the Hebrew Bible in the Hebrew Bible, 
experiences resembling premonition appear primarily through dreams, visions, or inner warnings attributed to divine communication rather than human intuition. Such insight is not presented as an innate human ability, but as an exceptional occurrence granted for a specific purpose. Foreknowledge serves moral or communal aims, such as guidance or warning, rather than personal curiosity about the future. It is limited to particular individuals and moments, reinforcing the distinction between revelation and divination. As a result, anticipatory insight is portrayed as purposeful and rare, rather than a general human faculty. Premonition in the New Testament The New Testament frames anticipation not as prediction, but as spiritual discernment. Awareness of future events is presented as insight aligned with moral or theological meaning, rather than personal foresight or control over outcomes. Such discernment serves to guide ethical conduct, strengthen faith, or prepare individuals for responsibility rather than certainty. As in the Hebrew tradition, anticipatory awareness is exceptional and purposeful, clearly distinguished from divination or attempts to master the future. Premonition within Islamic tradition. The Quran and associated teachings draw a clear distinction between divine knowledge and human attempts to foresee the future. Knowledge of the unseen, al-ghaib, is reserved for God alone, and human beings are cautioned against claiming independent access to future events. In this context, Islamic sources warn against relying on munajimun, astrologers or soothsayers, even in cases where a statement may appear to coincide with later events. Such correspondence is not treated as validation but as coincidence, conjecture, or misattribution. In Hindu and Buddhist traditions, anticipatory awareness is linked to heightened consciousness and mindfulness, reflecting sensitivity to causality and impermanence, rather than fixed future events. Premonition is not a single phenomenon, but a collection of experiences arising from different cognitive, emotional, and cultural processes. Most forms of anticipation are grounded in ordinary human perception, while a small number remain unexplained. Understanding this distinction allows premonition to be explored without fear or certainty, not as control over the future, but as insight into how humans perceive possibility, meaning, and uncertainty. Thank you for watching. What do you think about this video? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Please check out my other videos by tapping on the elements shown on your screen or go to my channel to explore more content. Thank you for your interest.